Alright guys, welcome to the channel. It's Excoundrel here, AFK Journey, and I have a really, really cool video for you today. Um, it is Florabelle related. She has just been released. I had loads of rate up uh, invite letters saved up and I spammed them all on unlocking Florabelle because I wanted to see how good she was. First of all, if you've been watching and you have seen my content, thanks so much. Um, uh, I'd Super love for you guys to subscribe. I'm close to a thousand subscribers, so it would really mean a lot to me if you guys did. I'm hoping that I make the content that you guys want to see. And there's loads of great AFK Journey content creators out there. My my favorites are, are Vulcan, um, but I think there's like loads of really great AFK Journey content creators out there. Um, so you guys should support all of them as well. But I want to show you Flora Bell at Mythic Plus, <laughs> and I could I could use my diamonds to try and get her to Supreme Plus, which could be worth it. But um, I want to go through all of her skills now that we have them in detail. So. For instance, Pounding Blow, so she inherits, um, Spiny inherits 80% of Florabelle's max HP and deals 60% damage of normal attacks. That's the thing that she summons when she starts. That's the ranged attacker. Um, and then if it dies, it rejoins the battle after 10 seconds. If, once we get to the ultimate active, Florabelle selects a tile to summon Smashy to smash the ground, dealing 300% damage to all adjacent enemies, knocking them into the air. Smashy inherits 220% of Florabelle's max HP, dealing 120% damage with normal attacks. However, Smashy takes 100% extra damage when under crowd control effects. Now, can I put this into context for you? Um, yes, I can. Let's have a look at our closest summoner friend. Mr. Carlisle inherits all of Cessia's stats and his normal attacks deal 170% damage to enemies within a one tile arc, so he has an AoE attack. He gains 45% max HP, but loses 4% of max HP per second. Um, when Mr. Carlisle summoned, he initials Tangled Agony, dealing 140% damage per second for two seconds. So essentially deals 280% damage over two seconds. Okay, and this is based on um, Cessia's attack. And it basically, as you scale it up, he does more damage with normal attacks. Well, let's have a look at what Cessia's attack actually is. So Cessia's attack is 57,028. Obviously, this is not taking into account the enemy's physical defense and uh, magic defense, but um, that is Cessy's attack. So you're going to deal 280% of that over two seconds when you summon Mr. Carlisle, and he's going to deal, double check, where is it gone? He's going to deal 170% of that or 175% of that if you've scaled it up. Um, Cessy also increases her attack speed, so she also increases her own damage output. Let's take a look at Flora Bell then to, for context. So... You're going to deal 300% damage, um, and and Florabelle's uh, and Smashy gets 220% of Florabelle's max HP. Now, Mr. Carlisle gets Cessia's max HP plus 45%. So Smashy actually inherits 220% of Florabelle's max HP and deals 120% damage with normal attacks. He does not have a splash effect, from what I can see. In, uh, so leveling up increases your passive damage but also when you're at level three when all three patelia on the battlefield summoning smash you will instead trigger a coordinated attack from all patelia dealing 400 percent damage and uh to all enemies within three tiles and knocking them into the air so it goes up to 400 percent immediately as long as all three patelia are on the battlefield putting that into context obviously my uh Cessia is at uh, uh supreme plus so has a slight increase so he gains the HP of Cessia, which I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. He gains the HP of Cessia, which is 529k plus 45%. So he's going to get about 800k-ish HP um, and deals 280% damage over two seconds when landing and also deals a AoE attack. However, Florabell is more immediate. She has got uh, 494k, so she's probably got an equivalent amount of HP at supreme plus to Cessia, and the attack might be a little bit similar although it is slightly lower than Cessia, so it's worth to know that uh, but i'll talk about that in more in a moment so essentially what we're looking at here is more immediate impact and potentially higher scaling uh, as well as the fact that smashy is actually going to have more hp than um mr carlisle because he gets 220 percent of florabelle's max hp which means he's going to be tankier um than mr carlisle overall so you're gonna have a very tanky ultimate that gets summoned um feed a patellion with to transform into eight seconds giant patellia will gain 60 haste and 60 life drain when multiple patellia on the field this skill targets them in the order of smashy so your ultimate swifty and then spiny spiny is your one that you summon at the start so you get life drain which is really nice summon swifty in the back six attack tile range oh so i'm guessing um spiny must be actually the spear dude 
Um, and its normal attack does 80% damage. Casting this skill while Swifties on the battlefield initiates Swift Swifties rapid fire, unleashing arrows. Cool. Hero focus. Now, this is the important part. Flora Bell increases her attack during battle. So you won't see that attack increase in her stats. She'll increase it during battle, which is really important because obviously all of her big damage comes from her attack scaling. Uh, and then she increases uh, it by another percentage when at least X, X number of summons, two number of summons are on the battlefield. So this is her uh, protective blessing. Grant a natural blessing to allied summons upon their entrance to the battlefield, providing with a permanent shield capable of absorbing 280% of Florabelle's attack, which again, better because it scales of attack. This skill can be activated every once, uh, once every 0 0.5 seconds. So she can essentially grant um, this to her summons every time they come onto the field. And the more summons you have, the more likely this is going to get activated. But obviously it's um, only when they uh, entrance, well, only when they come to the battlefield. The fact that it can be activated once every 0 0.5 seconds means that there's probably going to be some crazy summoner builds that we could potentially do down the line because it's that's very quick considering that uh, she has a cooldown. So the cooldown on Tiny Start Shoot is 8 seconds. The cooldown on Spiny, if they die, is 10 seconds. And then obviously Pounding Blow is not going to happen every X amount of seconds either. Um, the most important thing, though, is if you get your exclusive equipment level 3, which I believe is level 10, the allied summon with the highest attack, um, granting haste and life drain. So you are going to get, I think, realistically, uh, Mr. Carlisle, for instance, I think should end up with the highest attack here. You could give Mr. Carlisle a mega buff when he comes onto the field. So that's that's level 10. Is looks like it's going to be the sweet spot. Level 10 uh, equipment is going to be kind of where you want to get Florabelle to. And then what's what? Why I want to get Flora Belt a Supreme Plus is this: um, Allied Batalia in their giant form are immune to crowd control effects. So if you remember back on the um, back on the pounding blow screen, Smashy takes one hundred percent extra damage when under crowd control effects. However, Overgrowth prioritizes Smashy when he's on the field, increases his life drain, and then will make him immune to crowd control effects, which essentially is going to turn Smashy into a one man army. Um, so that's why I think Flora Bell at Supreme Plus is probably going to be really strong. That is Flora Bell, uh, and let's actually see how she works. I haven't tested her yet, so this is going to be you and me testing this at the same time. Let's go into an AFK battle uh, and see where Flora Bell can take us. So goodbye, Odie. You served me well. Let's bring Flora Bell into the battlefield now. We do not have a great way of activating a... Um, a bonus here but i guess we could go for like arden and damien because damien's got a summon as well so maybe we could do it like this um the only problem is we don't really have a dedicated healer so i could probably if i had hewin at a higher level that would be super nice but i just don't know if hewin's going to be very useful for me at the moment because she's at such a low ascendancy um you don't have to to be honest with you you don't really have to go down the the path of needing to use um uh, needing to use the, uh, the the bonus is only it's only beneficial sometimes. Let's run with this. I think I need to switch someone out for another one seventy. Let's um because we're getting rid of Odie from this one. I'll keep Odie at one seventy actually because um we have the the two battle ones right. So we're just going to run Florabella Cessia here and we are going to obviously try and get her to summon. But let's see how it goes. Right, massive shields. Spiny's going for it. Now we have the other one. Summon the energy generation is about at the same rate, Mister. Oh, okay. Mister Carlisle and Smashy are popping off right now. Mister Carlisle and Smashy are popping off. I want to see the damage dealt in that round. Let's have a look. Flora Bell way lower than um, way way lower than uh, Cessia. We kind of thought that would be the case though. Just because she's a bit more um, supportive, I think what's going to happen in these situations is that Cessia is going to be um, Cessia is going to be uh, always doing more AOE damage. You've got to remember that that doesn't usually take uh, is not usually what happens with Florabelle. But right, we're going to bring Florabelle in here, and we're going to yeah. I guess we'll just go with this for the time being. Actually, do you know what? Let's just use Arden since I have him randomly at Mythic, and then we'll just keep the Wilder team for this one. 
All right, this is a hard battle, so let's see how Florabelle does. We've got Spiny is out. We have Sharpshooter that's out now. There is Mr. Carlisle, but he's already dead. And that's it's, it's now up to uh, Florabelle. Smashy. Oh my God, look how much damage Smashy did. Crazy. Really, really strong. Very impressed with Florabelle, especially at Mythic Plus for this adding. I will be honest. Don't. Don't really think that. Um, I will be honest. I don't really think that uh, it's making a massive difference to. Give me one second. You guys are probably hearing blinking WhatsApp notifications, and I need to just um, make sure you guys don't hear that. So give me one second. You can just watch this whilst I deal with my sound issues. I don't know where WhatsApp is on my thing. It's fine. We did it. We did it anyway. Um. All right, let's keep going. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that was a lot of damage. I don't think the shield is making that much of a difference to Mr. Carlisle. What's going to make the most difference to Cessia is getting level 10 exclusive equipment, potentially. Um, because that, to me, feels like that's when we're, we're essentially providing a automatic Coco buff to Mr. Carlisle, which is what makes him super strong. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the biggest benefit one second guys i'm just gonna quickly deal with this whatsapp thing all right it's fixed no more no more whatsapp okay so overall i am impressed now look i have just randomly got her to mythic plus so i could probably be doing be doing whatever i wanted but look i mean that shield is not huge for mr carlisle um obviously he's losing hp as we go anyway Smashy's insane though. Smashy's uh, Smashy's pretty good. Coordinated attack. So yeah, when we get a second, well, if Smashy's still on the field, we get a, like a second attack that deals way more damage. But the shield isn't huge, for Mr. Carlisle. Like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be when we get um, Florabelle's exclusive equipment to level ten, which is gonna take me a while. Um, that's gonna be when we probably really see the major benefit. Um, I do think that, um, like, Florabelle and Arden, for instance, will work well together, because Arden obviously has um, extra damage to uh, units that get CC'd, but you can see that she ults at a similar time to Cessia. Yeah, coordinated attack, everyone gets knocked up. It's working really well for me. I think she obviously does well to support Cessia, but like I said, you're not going to see the big benefit from running her with Cessia until you get exclusive equipment level 10 which is going to require a bit of an investment. So for, you know, I think if I was going to answer, is she worth it as a one copy? Um, probably not. I, I think because she is a DPS and because her supportive effects on other summoners are not particularly strong, I think for the most part, she's um, she's better off when you get her to like Mythic Plus and especially Supreme Plus. That feels like it's going to be very good. Got a lot of CC in her kit though, which is really nice. Like having CC is just really important. And in my previous Cessia comp, um, I had absolutely no CC, so sometimes you just couldn't get through hard levels because there was no way of crowd controlling the enemies. We were essentially relying on Cessia herself to just crowd control enemies with entanglement. But now we have um, Cessia and Florabelle, and you can see they they basically are at exactly the same time. That's knock up there. That's a huge amount, and then they get entangled straight away. So essentially, with Cessia and Florabelle, you can lock up the entire back line for a good few seconds like and that can be the, the the tide of the turning um in the battle i'm gonna stop doing random uh afk levels because i could probably just let that progress forever now um very very good that was um that was pretty solid actually right so should we have a look at what she likes she is like in the dream realm now guys because that's going to be interesting um is she going to help me in the dream realm is the real question so merrily get rid of these guys get rid of these guys um we're going to do this we'll use od we'll use we've got smoky already we'll use florabelle um obviously in this dream realm you need heroes that are mobile but whatever okay so this looks terrible but what we're going to do is we're just going to do it anyway probably could do with you i actually think maybe let's run coco instead of rowan but i like rowan i like running rowan okay so 
here we go. So we're going to get some ults coming down. I don't actually think Florabelle's get benefiting from the ult, uh, uh, Rowan ult there, but whatever. Here we go. So we get Smashy coming in. So we have loads of loads of little dudes at the back. Smokey's going. I'd love to see the sort of the single target DPS of Florabelle because that's something that obviously that Cessia isn't particularly strong at. Oh, coordinated attack. Wow, we have absolutely blitzed this guy. I couldn't beat him before, and we have absolutely blitzed him this time around. Um, okay, I really want to see the damage. Flora Bell, not as much as Cessia and Odie, but comparable. Comparable. And and given that um, Flora Bell isn't uh, Supreme Plus yet, and my Odie also has, like, his, his level 5 weapon, um, I think that's pretty good. Let's try again on this next stage then. Right, we're into... Oh, right, I wasn't even on hell difficulty. Gosh, I hadn't beaten this guy on hell difficulty. I think we could um, we could go to Coco. Uh, is that going to be better? Actually, do you know what? I think she think Rowan, because I've got him at Mythic Plus, is probably just better. Or I've got him at Supreme, even. Right. Let's see how this goes this time round. I do think she's pretty good. Do I think she's OP? Probably not. Um, but I do think she's pretty solid. Nice. So, OD, come on, guys. Get as far as you can. I know the hell difficulty is very difficult, but um, we'll see how far we can go. There we go. Rowan's going for it. Florabel, get a coordinated attack. Coordinated attack. Bonk. Oh, Florabel's dead. Do you know what? Maybe Coco's damage reduction would, would get me a little further, but that, I think that's actually pretty solid. And um, it's put me to rank 47, which is not too bad. I didn't actually see how much damage she dealt there. Do you know what? I think Coco could be a really good shout, though. Let's put Coco in because... Um, and maybe we just give everyone... So instead of going down the Star Shard route, because we've got so much DPS, we just go down the Awakening, give everyone physical defense and, and healing um, because we're not running Rowan. Okay. Come on, Smokey. You got this. Smokey. Nice. Everyone... So Coco ults after everyone, and now everyone gets... The damage reduction, attack speed bonus, um, all that kind of good stuff. So Coco here, really nice. Unfortunately, we are dealing with um, hell, so it's going to... And we don't have anyone that's mobile, so yeah, we're just going to get blasted. However, not going too bad. I think it's about the same, just a little bit further than where we were before. Ceci is obviously kind of uh, highest ascendancy, so she's staying alive for the longest period of time. But 12k is not too bad. I want to see the DPS that we've done overall here. So actually, Florabel with Coco out dps OD. So there you go. Coco as a... So you could run like a, a Coco Florabelle composition and get massive value out of it. So you could run Coco Florabelle Smokey on Tundra or Coco... Yeah, I mean, that's if you wanted to go down the... Um, that route, but obviously Thor is just a much better tank. You don't have to run um, bonuses, but as you know what, that's actually very acceptable. I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, that's usually where I, I end up in the dream realm, so... We'll take it. We're usually top 50, essentially. Okay. That, to me, is really cool. I think we've um, I think we've looked at her in, in a bit more detail, and I think, like, she is a very, very good um, addition to a lot of um, to a lot of teams. We've got this. What can we upgrade? Uh, support, because I've done the support. So, in general, uh, this is a little, little tip. Um, it's best to go for your marksman, then your tank, then your support, because they generally are the ones that are going to be doing the most carrying work in... 165, yeah. They're going to be the ones that are doing the most carrying work in your um, yeah, in your progression. There we go, guys. Uh, that's really interesting. I think she's good. I think at Supreme Plus, she'll be even better. Although I will say I haven't really... Oh, there we go. Hero Focus level 3. Boom. So now we have Hero Focus level 3, which is probably going to make her even stronger. I wasn't really fairly comparing her to Cessia because I didn't have her hero focus, but she'll get probably equivalent to Cessia's um, stats. And obviously, when we get to Supreme Plus, that'll be even be Supreme Plus that'll be even better because Cessia is at Supreme Plus, and obviously the level ten equipment is going to be 
really powerful. So, you know, do I think Flora Bell's good? Yes, if you can get her to this ascendancy. I think she's really good. I think she's very strong. Um, I think she's a great addition to a lot of teams. The I think she could fit into the wilder PvP comp really easily. Um, the only thing is that she's got quite a high energy threshold, like Cessia, so that's something to be aware of. Um, but she's been working really well for me, and um, I think she will continue to work really well for me. There we go, guys. I hope that was uh, interesting for you guys, and hope it's helped you think about whether you want her. I think as a one copy, probably not, unless you are sort of early progression, and a lot of your stuff is only, like, legendary or epic, etc. Um, but if you're kind of at that point where you've got quite a few mythics, or you're looking at, like, legendary pluses, etc., then you might need a few copies for her to feel relevant and useful for you. But she's really good. I think she's very strong. Um, great single target damage, comparable to to my Supreme uh, Cessia, and also comparable to Odie. And um, and she works really well in conjunction with Cessia. And I think if I get her exclusive equipment at level to level ten, Cessia and Flora Bell in combination are going to be a great little team. So that is my takeaway. There you go, guys. Enjoy.